What up to my dolls? I am Lee Wantalia and welcome back to my channel. Let me catch your vibe. Today, you guys, I am going to be talking a little bit about the law of attraction. You guys suggested that I do more videos on this, so that is what I'm bringing you. But before we get into that, I have to tell you all about this hair. If you did not catch my latest video, which was how I got this color, how I got these curls, and me applying this wig, then you missing out. <laughs> so this hair is from the Doula Hair. It's a 180% 24-inch body wave unit i actually bleached this hair and colored it this color i hope you guys go check out that last video because i'm giving you all the deets okay letting you guys know what you need to do to be looking this hot for the fall i feel like it's giving me all the way beyonce vibes and i'm feeling myself feeling myself no okay anyways i'm feeling myself so um i'll check the links down in the description box if you want to order one of these units and if you are wanting like a custom unit or something like that from me then make sure you go follow lovely lust collection on instagram and you can dm me child and i can get you what you need okay so um i really have been liking this hair i feel like it curled so nicely it's holding the curl really nice i went outside and the humidity got to it a little bit and it still have its curls um basically i use a one and a half no a one inch curling iron and i just curled it away from my face paint it up let it drop and this is what i got i'm loving this hair i love this unit it is a 360 unit so i can put this up in a ponytail i can pretty much do what i want to do it's a lot of parting space on the sides and in the middles and in the middle so <laughs> this unit is pretty much lit so yeah make sure you guys check out my last video because i went all into detail and i let you guys know all the tea on this hair how i liked it how it took the color all of that stuff the link to that video is down below too so leave me a comment let me know what you think and we about to get into this video all right dolls so you guys have been asking and asking and asking so i decided to break this up and like give it its own little section on my channel so this is going to be like the lily's law of attraction series all right um i'm gonna try my best to come with to you guys at least once a week with a video letting you guys know tips and tricks and just secrets when it comes to the law of attraction when it comes to you know getting deeper into your spiritual journey when it comes to just awakening and finding god and you know being at peace and manifesting those things that we want because nine times out of ten if you clicked on this video it's because it had the word manifest in the title and everybody is on the wave and everybody is getting aligned and everybody is awakening and knowing that they can manifest whatever it is that they want so i was like how am i going to come and bring you guys these videos how am i going to start this off because it's so much that you can talk about and everybody on youtube is like literally talking about it you can literally type in manifest and so many videos are going to pop up but i'm here to talk to my people and the people who can relate to me so i can relate a message to you guys so if you didn't get it from them you're definitely going to be able to get it from me okay one of the main things when it comes to the law of attraction is knowing that this can be found in the bible this can be found being taught all around the world in different religions it can be found just being taught by itself as far as those people who are like just spiritual seekers and you know in touch with the universe and stuff like that you're going to hear me talk about god a lot in these videos because on my spiritual journey you can't have one without the other god plays a big role in my life and a big role in me using the law of attraction so when people come on here and they're like oh that's magic that's witchcraft and this this and this you cannot have one without the other okay god works magic that's just what it is so i'm gonna start from the very very beginning and i'm gonna give you guys a couple little secrets that helped me realize that i was in my awakening that i was deep into my spiritual journey and the things that i did that helped me along the way so 
starting a couple years ago, probably about four years ago. This was this year, it's 2019. So yeah, almost four years ago, about four years ago, I realized, dang, I've been, you know, speaking things over my life for a long time. Like when I go back and look at my Facebook posts, my on these days, like all the way back from 2006 when Facebook started, I was speaking things to, into existence and I was bringing things into my life without even knowing that this is what I was doing. So in 2008, I met my best friend Summer. Summer came into my life already spiritually there. She was in school to be a coach, a mentor, and all of this good stuff. And she used to tell me about the Word of God all the time. I already grew up in church, so I knew about the Word of God. I knew how to pray. I knew how to ask God to keep me safe. I knew how to ask God to protect my family, to bring me out of certain situations or through certain situations. But I never really asked God for like financial things or I never really asked God for the things that I really, really wanted in life. I always just went to God when it came to me wanting protection, wanting him to just guide me and, and be with me and stuff like that, right? So when we in 2008, Summer's telling me like, Lily, you can speak things over your life. Life and death is in the tongue. That's in the Bible. I can't quote it and all that, but I read it and I know it's there. But she was telling me these things and I'm like, okay, Summer, like, she was just like, you know, you really have to pay attention to what you're saying, how you're speaking, the things that you're speaking over your life, because you're bringing those things to you. You're attracting that. So back then, I was about 18 years old. I didn't pay too much attention. So here we are in 2016, and I'm going through like a midlife crisis, right? I am, I just turned 25, not too long ago. I'm, I feel like the world and the weight of the world is on my shoulders. I'm looking at myself like, you are not about to fail. You did not come this far to fail. I always spoke positive things. I always, you know, had such big goals, large goals, huge goals. And I would be like, where do these dreams come from? Why do I feel like I'm supposed to be doing something else? Or why do I feel like I have more of a purpose over my life than the things that I was doing? So, boom, went through my heartbreak. That really got me looking into my life, really trying to figure out who I am, what I want, where I want to be, how did I get to where I was at that direct moment. So, again, I started to look at my ownest days and I started to realize that I spoke a lot of things into my life. And I also realized that I had been practicing the things that I was learning over the years without even knowing. And I'm going to give you an example. Like, when I was a little girl, I always said that I was going to grow up and be a stripper. Like, I literally said this. I literally could, I would pretend like I was in a strip club on a pole, like I was a little hot something, you know, and I said that this is what I wanted to do. When I turned 18, I didn't even have a thought that this is what I was going to do. I just wanted a family at that time. I was having my daughter. I had just became a mom. So nothing in me was like, oh, Lily, go to the strip club. But however, I ended up going to the strip club and I ended up becoming a dancer. I spoke that over my life from a little girl. That is something that I thought about, that I envisioned myself doing, and I actually lived out. Just like how I have my house right now, just like how I'm driving my car right now, just like how I'm living my dreams right now, I envision these things. I sit down, visualize, used to pretend, you can word it however you want to word it, acting as is, I did that to get the things that I have right now. When it comes to um, the love of my life, I visualize the love of my life. Now, did it come in the form that I thought it was going to come in? No, but it actually came and it's better than I even envisioned. You know what I'm saying? Like even the stuff within my relationship that happens within my relationship. I remember as a little girl, I don't know if it came from me seeing like domestic violence as I was growing up, but I used to pretend like I was arguing. I used to pretend like I was going back and forth in my relationships and stuff like this. And like, I grew up doing those things. So that's how I'm saying like, you are in control of what is going to happen in your life. You have power over your life. 
and you have the power to shape what you want your life to be and how you want it to play out. As long as you pay attention to what you're thinking and how you're speaking, right? 2016 is when I realized, dang, I done spoke a lot of stuff over my life. Like what I'm going through right now is not because of anyone else. It's because of me. So that's where I had to take accountability for me. And I wanted to dive deeper inside of me. And the first thing that I did to dive deeper inside of me to find me was I began to read. One of the first books that I ended up reading was Think and Grow Rich by Napoleon Hill. And I tell you guys about this book all the time. I knew that I wanted to be a multimillionaire. I knew I wanted to own businesses. So in order for me to be able to get to these things, I needed to think and I needed to read and I needed to talk the way millionaires think, read, and talk, right? So that was very important to me. And I started my journey with a book like this. The next book that I got my hands on was called The Secret. And that book came to me in 2016 as well. And once I got my hands on that book, it literally changed my life forever. I feel like my life went from just going on one little wavelength, one little pattern to like peak season, right? Just by me applying the things that I read in that book to my life and realizing that I was in control of my mind. And also in 2016, I was going to church really, really heavy, like heavy, heavy. Um, In my relationship, we started going to church together heavily. And with going to church, hearing the same things in church that I was reading just confirmed that I was on the right path. That things were happening the way they were supposed to be happening and I was going in the right direction you know what I'm saying like wow I really am in control I really do have the tools I really do have everything I need to shape my life and make my life everything that I want it to be right so I'm reading I'm studying I'm listening like it got so deep as when I go when I was going to work out I was either listening to Bible scriptures like um T.D. Jakes was my best friend and not until like a couple years ago when I found Sarah Jakes and she became another best best friend but I also listened to people like Lisa Nichols I also listened to people like um, Earl Nightingale like things like that kept me motivated and kept me wanting to just learn more. Bob Proctor played a big role in my awakening. Um, Abraham, if you don't know about Abraham, then you need to get on it. Like these are things that I'm telling you that are really going to help you and help you understand what's going on while you're on this spiritual journey. And also when it comes to business and stuff like that, Tony Robbins, like, I could go on and on and on. It's resources all out here. It is things all on YouTube that you can type in to get you this information to help you elevate your mind and help you get to that next level. So I really just wanted to start off this little series with a story time, let you guys know where I came from and how I got to where I'm thinking the way I'm thinking now. After this, I'm going to be coming with a whole bunch of videos to let you guys know the different steps I took, the things I did as far as scripting, journaling, praying, um, how I talk to God, meditating, all of that which plays a role in shaping and getting me exactly what I want in this life. All right? Um, I hope this video wasn't all over the place. I feel like... I kind of got it out, um, but comment down below. Let me know what you think. Let me know if you're excited about this series because I really am. I got to get out of my little nervousness because sometimes when I'm talking, I feel like I'm just going in circles and I really don't want to sound like that. I really just want to be able to be comfortable and come talk to you guys and share all of the knowledge that I have gained because I know when I was on my journey and I began um to want to learn more. I was looking for somebody like me. I was looking for somebody I can relate to. And honestly, I ended up relating to a lot of people that's different from me. Because Lisa Nichols, different. Jake Ducey, Ashley Ducey, um, Ralph Smart. Like, these are people that I will watch on a daily basis that help me along this journey. So, I just want to come to you guys relay the message that's within me. Let you know that God is on your side. That you are 
put on this earth to have the things that you want to have, but it's all upon you and it's all upon what you want to do with it and how you take the information and you go from there. Okay, like, comment, subscribe, and I will talk to you guys on another video.